what is decarbonisation? Decarbonisation is the word we use when we talk about how we can reduce the amount of carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere. Everyone across the world is working to reduce carbon dioxide, especially big industries, by their day-to-day -day operations. We also refer to carbon dioxide as CO2. If we have too much carbon dioxide going into our atmosphere, it can make the earth too warm, causing problems like strange weather and rising seas. So, by reducing carbon emissions, we're making sure our planet stays just right for everyone. There are lots of great examples of decarbonisation happening here in the Humber region. The Humber region is extremely important because it has lots of industries producing essential products that we all use every day. But because of this, it also creates more carbon dioxide than anywhere else in the UK. This is a big challenge because our country is committed to reaching net zero by 2050. Net zero means not allowing more carbon dioxide to be released into the atmosphere than we can remove either through technology or natural ways like planting trees, which absorb CO2 from the air. It's not just about being more friendly to our planet, it's about making sure our industries thrive and can continue to produce these essential products, secure jobs and have an awesome future. The Humber is a giant opportunity for the UK to be a leader and to reach in debt zero by 2050. There are some big projects happening, like capturing carbon and storing it deep beneath the seabed rather than releasing it into the air, and using lower carbon hydrogen instead of natural gas. These projects are the key to big industries such as power, steel, chemicals and refining being able to lower their carbon dioxide emissions. Some of these projects are using what we already have here in the Humber. We are refreshing and updating some of the equipment and giving new people skills. The Humber is working to play an important role to help reduce the UK's carbon dioxide emissions and show the world how it's done. Let's go to the Humber and learn a bit more. Carbon capture is a technology that allows us to capture carbon dioxide emissions before they go into the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide is then stored deep beneath the seabed of the North Sea. Carbon capture and storage will mean that industries can produce lower carbon energy and products that go into everyday things such as plastic cups, clothes, electrical vehicles, fuel and much more. Now over to Aaron who will explore hydrogen. Have you heard of low carbon hydrogen? This is hydrogen produced using renewables like solar and wind power or by splitting natural gas so that the carbon dioxide is captured instead of going into the atmosphere. We can use it as a power source instead of fossil fuel natural gas, without carbon capture to produce heat or steam to power important industries. Or it can be used as an ingredient in products we all use every day. It can even be used for heating our homes or creating lower emission fuel for ships and planes. When you use hydrogen, it produces water, not carbon dioxide, so it can be better for the environment. Hydrogen can make a big difference. Let's see how low carbon products fit into decarbonisation. Products are made from lots of different materials, but we can make better choices in what we use and finding other uses for things that cannot easily be recycled. For example, we process used cooking oil in place of some crude oil to make something called sustainable aviation fuel, sometimes called SAF, which is used to fuel planes. We use cooking oil that is sourced from places such as fish and chip shops, which they would normally throw away. This means we can reduce waste and produce lower carbon products that we need every day. Now, let's explore biomass with Dion. Biomass is a fuel that can be used in the process of generating electricity by using natural products like leftover or waste wood as fuel. This is better for our environment than using fossil fuels because this fuel comes from plants and trees which can grow back if we plant more. Here's the cool part. By fitting carbon capture technology to the power station, we can create a carbon conveyor belt which removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This means the carbon dioxide goes from the atmosphere to the trees to the power station and then is buried underground. This creates something called negative emissions. So who are the people making all of this happen? Businesses should be able to save thousands of jobs and create thousands of new ones by decarbonising the Humber. This is because decarbonisation needs lots of different workers with different skills, knowledge and ideas to make everything work. 
Businesses will need engineers, technicians and construction experts, as well as accountants, HR professionals and communication experts. There will be lots of different skills needed from people with lots of different backgrounds. There are different career pathways to get into these jobs through college and university or for apprenticeships where you learn on a job. Many schools, colleges and universities in the area work with businesses to make sure they are doing the right things to help you get the right skills. Let's talk to some apprentices working in the Humber area. So what are you doing in this amazing workshop? What I do is I'm a welding apprentice. So you see us down the welding bays working. There's three different processes that you do. So you've got a lot of different equipment for whatever you need. You've got plate, you've got pipe. It's quite independent learning. But obviously you've got tutors who are really well trained that can come and help you at any point. So what do you do at CAT? We'll start off the week by doing a bit of theory. Later on in the week, we'll come in the workshop and we'll apply it. We'll build stuff like ring sockets, radial sockets, lighting circuits. This is a mechanical workshop, so I'm doing a mechanical technician apprenticeship. To start with, we've been doing some hand fitting activities, demonstrated by this Christmas project here. Mm -hmm. Filing, sawing, yep. and then we'll be moving on to the plant work soon. So I'll be using stuff like this, which is a, a valve. I'm a year one process operations apprentice. I absolutely love it. It's a new industry so much new stuff to learn and so much time out on plant getting your hands on being really practical so what do you think you're going to do in the future this apprenticeship's four years which is a year here and then i've got three years at my company so hopefully to go on and be a full-time welder maybe move up you know weld inspector site manager but yeah there's a lot of places that welding can take you my future i can see staying with my company um, getting as many qualifications as I can get, working my way up the ladder. I'm doing my HNC, my HND, possibly my degree, and then moving to engineering. So after the apprenticeship's done, that's quite a sought after qualification all over the world. So I'm hoping to go around travelling a bit and see the rest of the world. So would you recommend this to other people? Yeah, definitely. I'd recommend an apprenticeship to anyone. And what advice would you give someone if they wanted to come there as well? Do it. Even if you feel uncomfortable, even if you feel like it's something that you're not going to be very good at, just throw yourself in the deep end. All you can do is just give it a go.